ClassyPod is an open source offline music player app that lets you relive the iconic iPod Classic experience on any Android phone. You get that nostalgic scroll wheel interface and you can navigate your music library just like the good old days. Scroll along the wheel to adjust the volume, press the buttons to access menus, rewind, fast forward, pause and play your tracks. It's all there. You can also organize your tracks, albums and playlists just like you did on your original iPod. Plus it supports customization and multiple languages. So if you're into that classic iPod vibe, it's a must try. If you're tired of random pings and notifications while gaming or reading on your phone, you've got to try this app that lets you set up app specific do not disturb mode. Just allow the required permissions, enable it, add the apps you want to silence and enjoy your peace. It's lightweight, easy to use and effective. This one is a super simple open source tool that lets you back up a list of all your installed apps with a single tap including the details such as installation dates, package names, version details, source names and links, app icons and more. You can export the list in different formats to keep a record or to download again after a phone reset. Simply create a folder, choose your format, hit backup and you're done. Super handy. You can back up the list anytime to update it. If you use WhatsApp, you know how fast it can clutter your phone with duplicates, old images, documents and random files. Yes, you could clean them manually but it's not as easy as it sounds. Luckily, WhatsApp Cleaner makes it very easy for you. It scans everything and neatly sorts the media into folders so you can easily review and delete what you don't need. So if WhatsApp is taking over your storage, this app is a lifesaver. We often click yes I agree without reading the terms and conditions. It's too much to read anyway. That's when this app comes into the picture. It breaks down website policies into short readable summaries so you actually know what you are agreeing to. You can search for popular services or just share a link to get a report and to get a privacy grade. So try it to review the terms of popular services. So those are some of the new Android apps that are not available on the Play Store in 2025. Try them out, let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.